Oh, that's a good setup, that is. Looking good. Right, guys, welcome back to Tasty Business. Today I'm going to show you how to make a banging lobster roll. It's the fresh lobster from Cornwall, lemon mayonnaise, brioche bun. We're all going to make it all from scratch. So let's get cracking. Let's get the buns made. Brioche buns. So we've got strong flour, eggs, milk, sugar, salt, instant yeast and soft butter. I've made the milk bun before with the burger. It's a very similar recipe, slightly more eggs, more uh, sugar and a bit more butter. So it's just it's slightly sweeter, it's a bit richer. Uh, works beautifully with the sweet lobster. Flour straight in the bowl. We're making it in the KitchenAid as well this time. Last time we did it by hand. If you want to do it by hand, be my guest. I'm feeling tired today. Okay, so you can get the sugar in there. Just get it nicely dispersed. And you can also you can also go in straight straight away with the salt. Just make sure you disperse that really well. Because then then we're going to go go in with the yeast. So each one of these is eight grams. I need ten. So I'm just going to go in one whole packet and then I'll put a little bit of the next one. Give that a good mix, make sure it's well dispersed. And then we'll go in eggs and milk. You can mix that together. An egg is 50 grams, but it's acting, so it's, it's mostly water, so it's acting as the hydration of the flour along with the milk. So they're, they're, they go in together always. You can pour that straight in. What I like to do is just bring it together, especially in the KitchenAid, and just bring it together before you put the dough hook on. If you bring it together before you put the dough hook on, then when you put the dough hook in, it's immediately working. So often when you turn out a bread that's been mixed in, in this sort of KitchenAid, you, you're like, you've got a dry patch at the bottom and you can just negate that by mixing it all by hand first. Now we're gonna put the dough hook in for this first knead and then we'll start adding in the butter. So let's turn that on, and just let it do its thing for five, five to eight minutes. Just add in the first spoon and then let that get incorporated. You just want that, see how it splits out the dough. You can see those long strands here, that's good news. That's, that's showing us that we're building up, the, building up the gluten. So we'll get that last bit of butter in. So you can pour this dough out onto, onto the side. And as you can see, it's quite a wet, it's quite a wet, loose dough. So what we're gonna do is just put it, to, put it in the fridge so, we can, so it becomes easier to handle with all of the butter and eggs and everything in there. It's rich and, it's, and it becomes, see, it's quite a sticky dough when it's, when it's room temperature. Just take it into a plastic container, rub it a little bit with oil, then we just lift up this dough and put it straight in the fridge. Put the lid on, put it in the fridge for like three hours or you can do it overnight just to firm up and then we'll come back to it in three hours. So dough's been chilling in the fridge for a few hours, uh, take the lid off, we're going to portion it up, 100 gram, 100 gram balls, just going to shape it into little, into those hot dogs. just to make it into a nice little sausage. Put that in, tuck them all up, and they're gonna prove all together. Put a lid on, and place those in a nice, reasonably warm situation. Like an airing cupboard would be good, or if it's a hot day like today, just inside. Buns have proved nicely. The egg wash straight in the oven, 175 degrees, no fan for around 15 minutes until golden brown. So yeah, straight in the oven, inside. You don't need to 
You don't need to watch me, but you can if you want. Lobsters. Um, live lobster, best, if you can get it. Good fishmongers, fish suppliers. This come from Flying Fish down in Cornwall. Delivered to me uh, this morning, very early. We're obviously gonna kill this before we put it in the water. There's a line running down from its head, and there's a little um, indentation here. And what you need to do is you get a good knife. Just put the knife here. I'm just gonna... And that'll be the look, that, that straight through the head, even though it's thrashing around a bit, it is dead. You've got your two lobsters here, and now we need to take them down into their body and claws. So what you want to do with the, with the body is you just, remove, you just remove that from the, from the head like that. So that's come off neatly. And then the claws, I'm just going to take off separately here. Pull and twist. I'm not going to cook the head today because this is, I'm going to use this for a bisque, but what you can do is just chop it like that. That will create the most delicious lobster bisque, which you can then make lobster pasta with or whatever you want, or just have, a, have it as a bisque soup. And with the claws, they're gonna cook for five, five minutes roughly, and then the body is cooked for about three. Good little tip. For the, for the bodies, to keep them nice and straight, if you have a couple of skewers that you can put through and just run it up the back, and it just stops the, the lobster from curling up. Because if you see, that's their natural position. If they're, if they're, if they're going to go into the water, they're going to tense up like that, and then you end up with a really curly tail. All right, so now we can cook the lobster. The water wants to be oh, nicely boiling, so we're going to salt that very, very generously. It wants to be as salty as the water it was swimming in. So we're going to go to the bodies. Next body. Here we go, both, all the, all the claws. So I'm going to set a timer. So, hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes, counting now. There we go. Now it's just a waiting game. Right, that's the, that's the timer ready. Lobster, tails, out into the ice bath. Okay. Oh, he's, he grabbed on, look. <laughs> so that, those skewers don't fit in there, but you see how that lobster stayed straight. We're putting it in the ice bath because it'll be cooked. We, we want it to be just cooked, you know. We don't want to let it overcook. Lobster will be chilled, so we take, take it out of the water. And we'll start with, the, start with the bodies. The best way to do it is you've got this inside here, is you cut inside. So if you have a nice pair of scissors, Kevin, I'm gonna go down each one. And just pull it apart. And this should just slip out nicely. There you go. The, the claws, just make sure they're, just give them a good shake. They release the meat from the claws. So you want to break off the arm bit and then you got the claw bit here. So you can, so I'll just remove that, and if you're gentle, it'll come out. You've got the uh, the meat there. Then we'll just go with the firm, but then that last crack will just allow you to drop the lobster claw out hole. Beautiful. Okay, now with these arms, it's much more simple than prepping crab, for instance. Like crab, is, uh, the meat is uh, much harder to come by. But these, you can literally just break them at the joint. So the joint, well, there's one joint there, that's a bit harder to break, so you could just, just go through it with the, with the knife. So what you need here is just a, uh, like some sort of utensil, back of a spoon, thin back of a spoon would work very well. So you just literally pull out these knuckles here. Hmm. Perks of the job. Here we've got 
two beautiful lobsters. We've got the claws, the tail, and we've got the knuckle meat. And that is gonna, we're gonna chop that up now. And we're gonna dress it with the lemon mayonnaise, season it with salt, some fresh herbs, lemon juice, and toast the bun, ready to go. Now we've got the lobster to this point, we're just gonna take it into chunks. Not, not too small, we wanna be able to have that mouth feel of lobster even though it's in the bun and it's gonna be mixed with mayonnaise. I'd say take it down the middle, so you can cut this back bit open. And that's fine, that's just coral in there. So it's not poo, if everyone says it's poo. <laughs> that's the shit pipe there. So you want to take that out. So, no, take that in half. And I reckon you want to go into chunks, sort of like that sort of size. Lovely. So then we'll go into the claws. So you just want to make sure that um, cartilage I showed you on the last one, make sure it's not in inside the claws. Yeah, so you can just almost cut the claws in, in half or just take them into quarters. Depends how big they are. This one's got a, got a cartilage inside. Just run it off the, off the cartilage here. You don't, want it to, you don't want it stuck to that at all. This one, I haven't got one. Let's just take that in the quarter. Beautiful. Then add in all the knuckle meat. That's all the lobster meat we've got from two lobsters. Delicious. In the lobster, we're gonna go dill, chives, lemon juice, and some lemon mayo. So a small, nice little handful of uh, chives. Good sharp knife. Getting nice, clean cut. So they can just go in with the lobster. Okay, and then a touch of dill as well. Probably like a good tablespoon of each of the chi of chopped of the chopped herbs. Just roll up this dill, nice and tight. Okay, same process. Really working on keeping that blade slicing through the herbs rather than just like downward force, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Herbs straight in. Lemon mayo, not too much. Not, it's not, it's not gonna be like a big mayonnaise party in there. You wanna be able to, we don't wanna, wanna be able to see the color of the lobster still. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. Bit of salt, bit of salt, bit of pepper, some lemon zest. Touch of juice, make sure no pips in there. Mmm, that is gonna be damn tasty. Lobster done. Let's toast the bun. So these are, you know, the brioche buns that we baked. Just trying to rip them down the side. Ooh. I'm just going to neaten up these sides so they get a nice toast on them. Here you go, Peg. Sit. Sit. Good catch. Good catch. To toast the buns, we just want a little bit of butter in the frying pan. A little bit, like a spoon. Toast the bun on each side. That can go in the butter. Let's do them all at the same time. Just a little bit of heat from the grill. Just do this. It's always about improvising cooking, isn't it? Yeah. So you can just turn the bun. Make sure you got a bit of butter on the outside of it. Oh, the buns are done. I'm just going to pull them off onto the board. Toasted top, bottom, and sides. No half measures here. Make an incision straight down the top. And you just open up that bun. A little bit of mayo, and then stuff that bun high and. Full. That's what we're here for, isn't it? 
lobster. And then we can finish it. Touch of touch of touch of lemon zest. Touch of black pepper. You know it's also very nice. Touch of melted butter. And you see all these black, that, that's just a little bit of burnt butter, which would be, that's even more tasty. So just gonna drizzle that over the top. Start on the plate, with the lemon to the side, a few more chives. There you have it, that's my lobster roll. Better give it a go. Mm. So good, the bun's super soft. Lobster's so sweet and the mayonnaise is just, you know, you've got that acidity. Fragrant herbs, all homemade. Lemon, lemon mayonnaise, chives, dill, brioche bun. Tasty business. Thank you.